top training equipment that you should get this year, part three. Having cones as markers and color coding your sessions is great, but having these speed and agility training poles is much better. These are the Uber Soccer Speed and Agility Training Poles. They come in heights of three feet and it has an attachment that allows you to take it to a six foot tall pole. The poles themselves have spikes at the bottom, so if you're on a grass field or area, you can stake them into the ground very easily, and the poles are very light. They're just made out of uh, plastic like PVC. If you did want to use them indoors or on turf like I'm using them here, you can get the base pieces to go with them. But to be honest with you, I almost never use the poles fastened together at six feet because when it is a bit windy, they tend to blow over. They're much easier to knock over when you're training players who are running past them or kicking the ball. And if you do kick a ball hard at the middle point where they're attached, they could break pretty easily. So I usually just use them at the three foot height, which for me is great for training. And for most of the players that I'm working with, gets the job done. The main reason that I got these agility sticks is honestly because of the cost. They're very inexpensive compared to a lot of leading speed and agility equipment. And the yellow and orange are very bright and stand out. The two different colors allow me to set up different obstacles for the players to do different skills. This way I got a ton of value for what I spent on these agility poles. I can use them indoors and outdoors. I can easily bring them with me if I'm staking them into grass, or I can bring a couple of the bases with me to set them up on turf um, when I'm on a flat surface. So I definitely recommend these and you can shop them here at my Amazon link.